Determine the number of turning points in x-intercepts. State whether a is less than 0 or a is greater than 0. And determine the minimum degree of the function in the graph. All right, so let's see. We have turning points. Remember, that's where, it sh where the graph changes from increasing to decreasing, or vice versa. So I see four turning points, x-intercepts. I see one, two, three, four. I see five turning points. Now, what we said was an n-degree polynomial has at most n intercepts, x-intercepts, and n minus one turning points. So kind of turning that around, if you have n x-intercepts, you can have at least a degree n polynomial. And if you have n minus 1 turning points, you can have at least an n degree polynomial. So kind of adding 1 to the turning points or equaling the x-intercepts, the minimum degree is 5. Now focusing on the end behavior to figure out A. So notice that as we move far to the left, the function is going to positive infinity. As we move far to the right, the function is going to negative infinity. And so using that information from section 4.2, we would say that A is less than 0. In the second exercise, I see 1, 2, three turning points. And I see one, two, three x-intercepts. Now, so three x-intercepts, the minimum degree is three. I should say the degree is at least three. Turning points is 3. Well, wait a second. That means there, the minimum degree is at least 4. So we would have to go with 4. The minimum degree of this polynomial is 4. Looking at the end behavior, as I move far to the left on the x-axis, the function goes to negative infinity. And as we move far to the right on the x-axis, the function goes to negative infinity. So in that situation, down, down, that tells us that A is negative.